Welcome back everybody. We're continuing our deep dive into New Zealand. Um, the video I have for you today is 15 reasons why New Zealand is the best country in the world. Now this is obviously all, you know, one person's opinion. It's all subjective, you know. It, some people might think it is, some people might not think it's not. But hey, this is why we're here. We're, we're seeing what this person has to say. Um, obviously I'm taking from this video that they have probably been there or either lived there. So let's just take it with a grain of salt. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded them in a minute. I'm actually currently working on what I would consider a special video for you guys. Um, hopefully I'll have it out sometime early next week. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this video. I personally don't think I've ever heard a bad word spoken so beautiful. about New Absolutely Zealand. Absolutely beautiful. Sometimes regarded as being one of the most beautiful countries in the world, it this isolated nation is a very desirable place to visit, live and retire. I was lucky enough to travel there in 2020, but then something called COVID-19 decided to pop up and ruin all of my plans. So in this video, we've got 15 reasons why we think wow. New Zealand is the best country in the world. Because my name is Sam, and you're watching the Geography Bible. All right, so let's kick go. off Same this video with Bible. number 15. It's natural beauty. New Zealand is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful, picturesque countries in the world. It really From is. Cook, to it Milford really Sound, is. To Hobbiton, New Zealand is a very mountainous, rugged country. So it offers some of the most stunning, picturesque views you will see on Earth. With it being a relatively so narrow beautiful. island, you are also never too far away from the ocean. Number 14. It's climate. New Zealand has a largely temperate climate. While the far north has subtropical weather during summer, inland alpine areas of the Look south island can be as cold as minus 10 degrees Celsius in winter. Most of the country lies close to I don't the know coast, how. which means mild temperatures, <laughs> moderate rainfall, and abundant sunshine. Pretty much the perfect climate. Not too hot, but not too cold. Apart from earthquakes and the odd cyclone, New Zealand does not experience much life threat threatening extreme weather. Number 13, it's low population and density. At just 5.1 million, New Zealand is a wow. very small country. I, I figured have more people than that. Around a third of New Zealand lives in its biggest city, Auckland. To put this in perspective, there are about 75 cities in the world that are more populated than the entirety of New Zealand. New Zealand has a population density of around 18 people per kilometer squared, That's making insane. it one of the least densely populated countries in the world. This wow. low population and density it's so beautiful. means less You would think people would want to live there. Traffic and a general chill vibe. I would live there. <laughs> but of course, isn't everyone's cup of tea, as some people do prefer the hustle and bustle of big cities. Number two. Do not. It's history and culture. Even though New Zealand is a relatively new country in terms of the year that it was discovered, it is packed full of history. New Zealanders take huge pride in their culture and the Maori people along Maori. with their traditions. I want to do a video on well Maori. Respected. They seem like an awesome Maori were the first to group arrive of, in New you know, Zealand, people. journeying in canoes from Hawaii about 1,000 years ago. A Dutchman, Abel Tasman, was the first European to sight the country. But it was the British who made New Zealand part of their empire. You'll find amazing Maori historic sites across New Zealand, as well as beautiful colonial era buildings. I've seen something that said that they were very similar to the Native Americans here. Lord of the Rings. Regardless yeah. if you are a Lord of the Rings fan or not, the Hobbit set and the surrounding Massive rolling fan. hills are absolutely stunning. It was one of my childhood dreams to visit Hobbiton, and finally in 2020, I got to I visit. I would love to go I there. I wasn't disappointed. I would it love to go there. It was the most beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky in 20 degrees Celsius weather. The movie set is New Zealand's third largest tourist attraction, attracting approximately 17% of international visitors and estimated to bring in around $78 million wow. to the area annually. Take this with a pinch of salt, but I was told during my tour that the director of Lord of the Rings, Peter Jackson, receives 50% of all of the revenue, meaning he earns a cool $39 million or so every year. Number 10, it's isolation. Deserves New Zealand's it. Created the best trilogy of all time. The world does have economic drawbacks. For example, when I was there, I noticed the price of some groceries. Is I've heard, I've heard, I've seen some people say that it's it's ridiculous the price Quite of simply, these. If New Zealand does not grow a certain produce, it may have to import it. So place that kind of counteracts the, the isolation, isolation portion however, of it. Then. Does work in its favor I mean, politically. 
Apart from Australia, okay. who is like its older big brother, New Zealand doesn't really have any neighbours. And any neighbours it does have, like Fiji, are not world superpowers. Compare this That's to fair. the likes of That's India, fair. who have the nuclear superpowers of Russia, China, and Pakistan on their doorstep. Number nine, it's beaches. When you think of New Zealand, you That's usually fair. think of huge, picturesque mountain ranges yes, and do. rolling green hills. But what most people don't realize is that New Zealand has some of the world's most pristine wow. and beautiful beaches. New Zealand is actually home to 90 Mile Beach. However, the name is actually completely wrong. It's actually only 55 miles. Still, an incredible distance. With New Zealand being such Gorgeous. a small country population-wise, you'll often find completely deserted beaches that you can have all to yourself. Number 8. Most Livable Cities In 2021, two of the top 10 most livable cities on Earth were in New Zealand. Wow. Wellington, which came in fourth place, I mean, I'm not a city Auckland, guy. I... Which ranked as the most livable Give me the countryside, but wow. To be a country that's, of that's impressive. size and feature two of your cities in the top 10 is an almighty achievement. Being a livable city pretty much means that it is a nice place to live. Low crime, clean environment, and job opportunities are usually the main factors to contribute to a livable city. It must be noted, however, that when the 2021 rankings were released, New Zealand at the time was one of the only countries to pretty much stomp out COVID-19, meaning its citizens lived a mostly lockdown free life. Now, of course, since then, things have changed. Number seven, low corruption. Yeah. New Zealand is one I've of the least I've heard this. nations on Earth. Look at in that. fact, it usually battles Denmark and other Nordic countries for the top rankings in the world. In 2021, New it Zealand looks very England-y. Like least corrupt country in the world. Small hills, Finland, beautiful, picturesque Denmark. grasslands. As mentioned earlier, New Zealand doesn't really have looks like any England. Enemies. Yeah, with and overcast skies. Because it skies. isn't a nuclear power, has a relatively small economy and population, yeah. it rarely finds itself getting involved with foreign affairs. Number six. A relatively small country that offers everything. Although New Zealand is rather remote and small, it offers a wide variety of activities that its residents and tourists love. From gorgeous beaches and surfing to skiing, whale watching, mountain climbing and wine tasting. As mentioned earlier, this country offers a range of different climates and landscapes. So you don't actually ever have to leave the country as most things are already on your doorstep. So Number beautiful. five. Queenstown, yes. often described as the adventure yes. capital of the world, not only does it offer I want to go there. I want to go there so bad. We have Gatlinburg here in Tennessee and in the U.S. and it's beautiful. And this is basically what this is. Queenstown sits on the shore of Lake Wakatipu, among dramatic alpine ranges. A popular holiday and backpacking spot for any time of the year. Yep. Queenstown is renowned for its four distinctive seasons. Winter brings crisp blue sky days with snow perfectly skiing. Yep, 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 yep. That's a, that's a bucket list blues. area right there. I would love to days. explore Queenstown. Summer offers sunshine and long twilight. It's also and really weird to see winter with uh, June and August. <laughs> Number four, its social purpose. New Zealand ranks third in the world when it comes to social purpose. Now, what exactly is social purpose? Well, it's the country's attitude and actions okay. towards a variety of social attributes, such as animal rights, human rights, the environment, commitments to climate change, gender and racial equality, and many more. For this reason, New Zealand is a very progressive, healthy place to live. Now, so it's what the US this doesn't mean it's perfect, should be. But ranking third in the world means it is one of the best countries in the world for its social purpose performance. Number three, it's road trips. Yeah. New Zealand is a country built for epic road trips. I can personally vouch for this as I did a road trip through the country in 2020. No, I get it. Uh, don't get me wrong. I know that, you know, like the Rockies and stuff and, and the Alps and stuff like that, lines. but low amounts of traffic look at that. outside the major cities alongside some of the most breathtaking views you will ever see results in an absolutely stunning road trip. Look adventure. at that, that is Being so gorgeous. Being an isolated country with low population means there is less light pollution too. So the night sky makes things even more epic. To drive from the North Island to the South Island, you must take a three hour ferry from the capital of Wellington across to Picton, which is a little pricey, but admittedly it is extremely fun. You can sip on a I'll glass fly. of wine as you float past. I don't. I don't want to sit on the water if I don't have Number to. Number two, it's chilled, laid-back vibe. It's isolated.
isolation, low levels of corruption and crime, low population and density, alongside a society Looks like people that's are friendly, happy. open-minded and welcoming, means that New Zealand is an extremely safe, chilled place to live, work and study. If you're looking <clears> for a busy city or country with a booming economy and that hustle and bustle vibe, then New Zealand probably isn't your best bet. You might be better off living in a big city in Australia. And finally, number one, the best country to survive a global collapse. New Zealand is often voted yeah, I mean, it's, it's out of the way. If not the best I can't country imagine the they've pissed anybody off. A global collapse in society. Its rapid response to the pandemic and ability to completely seal itself off from the rest of the world has reassured its citizens that if a society was to collapse, let's say an even deadlier pandemic or a nuclear holocaust, then New Zealand would be a safe place to be. Again, with its isolation and political stability, there are very few countries that pose a threat to New Zealand. If a nuclear war was to break out, there is a very slim chance that New Zealand would be targeted. Its mountainous, rugged terrain alongside being an island would also pretty much make a land invasion impossible to win. Now, of course, New Zealand isn't perfect. It does have many issues of its own. For one, every, the country, every country is does. tucked away in the corner of the world. It's a country, country that does. does require some planning to visit, and flights aren't cheap there. Round trips. Yeah, and I've been Europe looking, and man, they're like 16-hour flights. And the journey takes yeah, the price I, mean, I was expecting, and but even the, when you the, arrive, the, the time. country itself is far from being budget-friendly. It is one of the most expensive countries in the world to travel and live in. So what are your thoughts on New Zealand? Would you live there? Let us know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. It is completely free. And you can always unsubscribe at any time. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you very soon in the next video. All right, that was a good video. I, I enjoyed that one a lot. I mean, honestly, other than, you know, the, the looks like the cost of living there is a little bit higher just because they're so far out of the way. So mainly because of the so far out of the way and the costs, it looks like a pretty phenomenal country. That was a, that was a great video by the Geography Bible. I'm going to go ahead and post the, obviously the link in the description box down below to the original video. Um, that was a, that was a good video. I re really enjoyed that one. Uh, so I'm curious to see what you guys think about it. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the reaction, uh, what you think of New Zealand as a country overall. Um, obviously, the biggest draw for me was Lord of the Rings, but that country, it's just its beautiful. I would like to explore it one time. It's just so far out of the way. It's so long to get there. So uh, thank you all so much for watching the video. Go ahead and leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. Like he said, it's free, and you can unsubscribe at any point in time. Share it out with all your friends, and uh, yeah. Be on the lookout for the next video I have. Like I said, it's a it's a special one, at least in my opinion, it's special. So, uh, yeah, thanks all for being here. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.